You are listening to the QFM. In February, um, I was reading Ask and Is Given, and um, I started having this vibration in my nose. And I'm going, at first I thought, oh my God, I'm stroking out. This is going to be a stroke. <laughs> and um, so... Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> that when you have a physical sensation, your first thought is something's wrong rather than something's extra right. Did you read in the book, before that happened to you, about... Esther's opening and how we began to spell by writing with her nose yes so you can feel how as you were having this awakening through the book that you were reading that the nose could be the crack of least resistance for you since it was the crack of least resistance for Esther for months we were giving Esther blocks of thought but she could not distinguish them from her own and her encouragement had been to quiet her mind so when she began hearing these thoughts she just tried to quiet her mind and so finally we realized that if she was going to realize that we were communicating that we were going to have to give her something more obvious and so we started actually moving her nose as if it were spelling letters on a chalkboard so also you know how you can move your hand, you can move your foot, you can move your tongue, you can move your head. And so that kind of movement is not so necessary. But we never see you vibrate your nose. In other words, you never say, I think I will vibrate my nose in order to make a point. You just don't do it. So when your nose vibrates, you got to know somebody else is the thought behind it. Yes? So that's the reason that it happens in that way. For Esther, when we want to get her attention, when she's chatting with Jerry and so involved in what she's doing that she can't notice us, we give her an eye twitch. That gets her every time. Or sometimes when she's driving, we just begin thumping on the steering wheel. And sometimes she's so busy in the middle of her conversation that we thump for over a mile before she catches on. <laughs> In other words, it's not easy to get your attention when you are involved in the things that you're involved in. And so as you are reading about this book about alignment and awakening, in fact, you, you were beginning the process long before this book even came into your hands, we want to say to you that it's just part of the process. Just part of the process. Good. Thank you. Good time for a segment of refreshment. We are complete.